City of DeSoto recognizing a hometown hero tonight. And as our Steve Pickett will show us now, Corey Borner, who is a quadriplegic, takes every step now guided by his faith and his unstoppable desire to motivate others. Oh, man. Corey Borner still relies on a wheelchair. He'll never forget how he was told the news 12 years ago. Doctor, he came in and told me I had a C5, C6 spinal cord injury. And he's the wheelchair for the rest of your life. His spinal cord injury happened at football practice. His days as a player for DeSoto High were done. But Corey was finding another way to stay on the field, motivating, encouraging, pushing others to believe in themselves by believing in himself. I will walk again, I'm gonna find a way. Those words, I've been living by them since I got in the chair. Not long ago, Corey Borner started walking walking with the help of medical technology strapped to his legs and torso. But he had more. In my mind said, let me shock the world. His graduation from UNT Dallas offered that world shock. Corey Borner walked across the stage with that message of finding a way. It's people walking complaining every day. So if I'm doing this every day, praising God, thanking God for blessing me to be able to get in this machine and take some steps, not physically yet, not yet. But to be able to get in this machine, I'm thankful for, for that moment. His hometown here in the city of DeSoto officially declares this day Corey Borner Day. The acknowledgement from the city recognizes how Borner walks with faith and encouragement, and a physical paralysis never handicapped that. In DeSoto, Steve Pickett. CBS 11 News. You go, Corey. Uh, he's a great follow on Twitter as well, by the way. Look him up.